on our planet and perhaps countless others, life arose. The DNA molecule, which is the basis of all organic life on Earth, is more intricate by far than any spiral galaxy. Because the structure of DNA contains something new, something that was missing from inanimate matter before the origin of life. It contains information. The DNA molecule encodes not only the information necessary to make copies of itself, but the information necessary to construct an entire organism. The blueprints for an ant, or a dolphin, or a bullfrog, or even a person. All of this information is somehow built into the structure of an organism's DNA in a molecular code billions of letters long. Each of your chromosomes is a single continuous strand of DNA, one enormous molecule. And as the molecule winds or unwinds, each chromosome can vary in shape, from a stringy open formation, if it is performing a task, to a remarkably tight packed mass, if the cell is preparing to subdivide. This winding is so efficient that it packs three feet of DNA helix into a cell nucleus. This helix is 3.4 angstroms per step. This particular clump of DNA is chromosome 17, magnified some 50,000 times. And as we zoom in, you can begin to make out the rungs on the ladder. Each of these rungs is just one of the three billion ladders that make up the book of our instruction manual. These steps of the DNA ladder are composed of just four different molecules. Adenine, thymine, cytosine, and guanine. And it is common to refer to them by their initials. A, T, C, G. There are two of these base molecules for each step on the ladder. And it is always either A and T together, or G and C together. So if you know one side of the step on the ladder, you automatically know the other side as well. Step by step, and three billion letters long, this is the formula for a human being. The existence of this tiny code written molecule by molecule inside each of our cells is a remarkable discovery all by itself. But scientists have now read that code, examined it letter by letter, and written it down. 